Hello and greetings everyone, it is I, Flip the Bacon, and we're playing today some Death Row 2 Canada by Mad Garden and Rocky Cat Games, which I have to say a very special thank you to them for hooking me up with a copy of this game to do a blind let's play uh, series on, a blind, yeah, let's, blind let's play videos and a review after I finally get around to beating it. Um, we haven't had the most best of best lucks here, so, um... We are going to try to make it through here. Um, we're going to load up Bacon again and our buddy, uh, with buddy, with buddy, uh, Carnart Berserker. So we got Jory Letta. Um, let's see if, how well we do this time around. Oh, check out the car we got. Bacon hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of threats of zombies with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida. He decides to brave the death row to and travel north. Characters have personalities. Let's hit that road. Yep, we all know about that kind of stuff. Um, to start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive Death Road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. House on the road, quiet factory, or quiet hotel. Um, hmm... Let's do the house on the road. The group spots a house on the road. It looks fairly quiet from the outside, but looking through the windows reveals shapes lurking around in the dark. Yep, we're gonna go in there. Um, what the? Oh, she's already what? She's already hurt. What the heck? What is up with that? She starts off hurt. <laughs> what? Oh man, that really is kind of a bummer. Um, hopefully she does okay then. And, uh, it's best just kind of avoid the zombies. Is there anything in here for us? Yeah. Alright. Come on, come through. We're gonna shut that door. Nope. You stay over there. Close it. Uh. Careful, my friend. Can't lose you already. Alright, we found some gas. Alright, we found some wood. We'll take it. And I think we killed all the zombies over there. So we don't have to worry about them. Yep, we just got a dead skeleton in here. Is that a zombie down there? Go through, come on, come on, buddy. I'll just leave that zombie to uh, its own fate. And yep, here we go. Take that. Shoot. Yep, we got a bone. We got a bone to pick with ya. And I think we've explored this entire house. There's nothing more for us here. Unless there's some. Uh, some doors down here, which does not appear to be the case. Yeah, let's go. Not bad. And we're driving a pretty cool, interesting car. The group go. Let's see. The group goes against their judgment and camps in a city apartment because there's no zombies around. When they wake up, the building is on fire. Who leads the escape? Bacon. Bacon tries to keep calm and observant. He keeps very calm. Bacon's composure revealed and he plans a fast way out they leave unhurt thank goodness we didn't have something horrible happen to it this time around the group gets away the group eats a decent meal the group spots an infested city let's see an infested city from the road scouting it from afar the group has decided whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies pharmacy or furniture store i think that's an easy choice we're gonna go to the pharmacy um, that's what I would choose. Alright. Let's boogie. 
to get in here. Oh, look at that. We found like a, a shotgun. Hmm. Oh man. Find some good stuff this time around. And. And I don't think there's anything else in here. So we'll just go ahead and leave this room. A shotgun, wow. That's pretty good stuff. I found some gas in the toilet. Don't know why. Don't ask me why there would be gas in the toilet. <laughs> But apparently is. So now we're going through. Um, poor people didn't make it there. Um, come back in. We'll just close this door. And, yep. Let's go. Go back for no sense of spending any more time here. stuff there. I found some shotgun ammo, a cane. A cane would probably be more useful than a, I imagine, than a... And we found junk. Nothing of use there. And she's reduced down. I don't know. Can we swap... Um, give her the cane, because I believe that's a much better weapon for her. And we'll go ahead and pick up the... Nothing here. Here, some more bullets, a chair, yeah. Finding lots of ammo this time around. Um, doing actually pretty decent. Found some medical supplies, some bullets. I think we're going to find anything else here. But it's definitely always worth uh, exploring. Come on, girl. Come on. You definitely don't get caught up in the zombies. the drugstore. Run, 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 girl, run. There 
There we go. Wow, look at that. We made out really good this time. Um, really decent. I have a lot of a lot more faith in this that we'll go to see. The group finds a gun range. It's empty and mostly clean of supplies. However, they find some targets and a working pistol. Search for ammo. Train group haphazardly. Train one person. Who would spend time with shooting? Who would spend some time with shooting practice? Bacon will. Bacon gets some gets some time to practice shooting. The targets were even zombie themed. Yeah, much better. Bacon hockey sticks are good weapons. No wonder Canada is doing fine. <laughs> the group sets up camp uh, at the safety place. At the safest place they could find around and abandoned mini golf park. The group eats a decent meal, loses four food in the morning. They find a golf ball and a golf ball and a putter while searching the area. The group decides to play a quick game. Jonah gets tired of the game and then loses the ball on purpose more. Jonah's morale decreased. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny stuff. Um, Let's see, bandits are guarding a retracted bridge over a river. They demand that anyone passes, pays the toll. They want f f nine food for safety. Refuse and fight. Drana, let's jump it. Drana, tell the bandits to cool it. Pay the toll. Of, well, pay the food. The group decides to play it safe and gives in to the bandits' demands. Loses food. And our morale and, and or all our morales drop down a little bit there. Um... Oh, I didn't realize they didn't have that much food to give out outside of Canada, of most society. Yeah, I think this is what I talked You have two food left. The group, let's see, view traders camp. Yep. Oh, look at that. We're in a shopping mart this time around. Interesting. A y'all mart is where everyone's staying. Group finds a man claiming to be a traveling medical salesman. He's carrying two suitcases. Carrying two suitcases of medical supplies. He offers one medical item for each item of food. You have only two food left. And let's see what he got here. The man carrying several shotguns, most of them lashed, lashed to his back. He's he is booming out a simple yet effective sales pitch. Shotguns for sale. Shotguns for sale. You have two left. There isn't enough food. Out of pity, he gives the group some free shotgun shells. Cool. And then we got this guy over here. But see, this group met a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a mask and a trench coat. I sell axes, just axes. You have two food left. This isn't enough food to buy anything. As condolences, the merchant gives the group hockey sticks, which I guess are is axe shape. All right. Want to find a tank and drive around. That would be pretty interesting, wouldn't it? The group hears big crashing noises coming from a nearby house and goes to investigate. In the middle of the sea of, of destroyed furniture and zombie gore, the world's famous wrestler L. Satan. He's currently pile driving a zombie, yelling pile driver at the top of his lung. Let's re recruit him. L. Satan strikes his patented dramatic pose and then says, Yeah, I'll join you. El Satan's strength revealed. He's super strong. El Satan joins the team. Now we need food really bad. The group gets confused when driving through a forest and stops at a cabin to figure out where they are and get trapped by a roaming horde inside. Try to survive the siege. All right. And we'll give her a hockey stick. Um, Hell, Satan, what do you have? You're just you're just a wrestler. All right, let's do this. Ooh, let's get in the house here, folks. All right. Uh, 
Uh, wow, we're finding some good food here, though. Take that, zombie. Siege is over. You can now escape. All right. Oh, man. And uh, I don't think we have anything else here. So av after we exit here, we're going to save it and call it good for the day. Um, yeah, that should have been 10 minutes worth of games. So do you want to walk back to the road? Yeah, let's hit the road. Uh, food found. We found nine food, which is good because we we're running low. And we found a bunch of our ammo and zombie supplies. So, all right, here. Um, abort the game and return to the screen. You can re let's see, abort the game and quit to the task screen. You can resume the game later with a continued game. Um, yeah. So, I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Alright, so we're they're gonna call this good, guys. Um, <laughs> this was Death Road to Canada. Um, it's a fantastic game. I have a good feeling we may or may not make it through this time, but I feel like this is our best chance of making it through the game. But anyway, as I say at the end of every single one of my videos, flip that bacon, see you next time, and... <clears throat> Burp, 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 goodbye.